This is breaking news. Situation, a dicey situation going on in Mustang right now. You're looking at a grass fire and it is dangerously close to a neighborhood. I'm going to bring in Jim Gardner up in Bob Mills Sky News 9 for an update. Jim, give us your exact location. Well, right now we're located at uh, southwest of the Southwest 59th and County Line Road, just southwest of there uh, in this brand new neighborhood that was built here. Now, this is going to be north of 152, west of County Line, south of Southwest 59th. It looks like it may have started at this home that is to the south here. Uh, quickly burn up around their uh, barn and everything there, but the, they were able to save the barn, as you can see right there. They got by that with no damage. There's some tall grass out here, but there's a lot of dirt also, which is really helping this uh, from getting out of hand. The only reason that it is really concerning is that it burned right up to this neighborhood, but it appears to be a lot of dirt still around this neighborhood, so that's a good thing. But where there's tall grass, it is burning quite rapidly here. So Oklahoma City Fire Department, Mustang, Yukon are here. They got a handle on it right now. It looks like they're keeping it off the houses. But we'll keep you updated. Jim Garpoin live from Bob Mills, Scudders 9. Back to you. And Jim, I'd say they have their work cut out for them because things have been so dry out there. That's right. It's very dry. Also, Canadian County still under a burn ban here. And uh, we got winds gusting to 30 miles an hour right now where we're sitting. Jim, I, before we went on the air, I know you had a chance to zoom in on a neighborhood sign. Can, can you either do that again or do you or the photographer recall what neighborhood this is just so we can give people a better idea if they're familiar with that neighborhood name? Yeah, we're coming around here. We'll try to get a uh, get a lock on it there. We can see hills something. I'm not quite sure okay. if it said Indian Hills or what there, uh, but we'll come around here. We should be able to get on it here pretty soon and get the sun right where you can see it. You should there be able to make go. it out there. Sure. Uh, not, I can't see it on my monitor. I, I might, see might it. It looks like it says Prairie. Sure. It looks like it says Prairie Hills. This is the Prairie. Thank you, Jim. And, and thank you, Rich, also for zooming in on that Prairie Hills subdivision there in Mustang, uh, where that wildfire is getting right up close to that new neighborhood. Jim, just a moment ago, you showed us a building where it looked like it had burned around it. Do you mind going back there, giving us a better look at what we're looking at right there and out building a barn of some sort? Well, that's right. That's their barn. The house is basically one of the, the underground homes off to your right there. And you can see it right there. And it looks like it started right in the front yard uh, off their driveway. I'm not sure how it started, but it quickly burned to this because the wind's blowing out of the southwest, gusting to 30, and it's blowing to the northeast. So it quickly burned to the northeast. But that is a metal barn, so that's probably what kept that uh, barn from catching fire. It is all metal. It burned right around that. Plus, in this tall grass, Amanda, and as hard as the wind's blowing, the fire is moving very fast, so it's, they really don't have time to sit there and really ignite anything except the tall grass that's uh, in front of it. And uh, you can see how tall the grass is right there. But like I said, there's a lot of dirt uh, uh, spaced in and out through this field here. And like I said, the main concern was burning up to that neighborhood there uh, because they do have wooden fences in the back. There, you know, if, luckily there's no uh, cedar trees involved in this. If there were cedar trees, there'd be embers flying everywhere. And uh, that'd be a big concern. But right now it's just this tall grass. They have a uh, fire truck stationed all along the back of that neighborhood there. I uh, can't really tell right there if that fence, I think that fence did catch on fire right there and it may be kind of reigniting there. So they'll have to get over there and uh, probably knock that down. But that's that's a big concern was this, uh, uh, when it burned into this neighborhood, Amanda. But uh, right now, all these fire department and all these guys have really got a good handle on it. And it's just that tall grass that they're, they're watching burn over in that dirt area right now. So hopefully that's the way it'll stay. But if anything changes, we'll keep you updated. Jim Garpoint Live from Bob Mills, Scotty's 9. Back to you. It is definitely putting out a lot of smoke. So if you see the smoke in the area, again, this is Mustang, where this wildfire is getting really close to the Prairie Hills subdivision right there. Uh, as we take a closer look, I want to keep a really close eye on where that fire was going up into that fence because, Jim, you mentioned there, it's wood fences, and I didn't see any firefighters right around there where it was getting close to the fence line. Okay, we got a firefighter right there on that edge. But then as we also look closer to where that home is, it looked like just a moment ago that the fire had already caught the fence on fire or it was very close to it. That's right. We're coming around here. Amanda will be able to show it to you real quick right here. Uh, there is a fire engine just out of screen to the top of the screen there. There's a fire chief right there that basically rolled up on that as I was talking about it. The fire Good. chief rolled up there and there's a brush pumper on the street uh, right there behind where the fire chief is. So uh, you can see the fire chief right there. Uh, we're coming around. The smoke's pretty thick. We'll see if it's still on fire. It was uh, burning 
It's still kind of burning down there along the fence there, so they will have to get a brush pumper down in there and, uh, you know, knock that down before the fence completely gets uh, ignited here. But uh, like I said, there's a brush pumper if you go back to your right, Rich, and uh, there's a homeowner with a hose. If you go back to your right, Rich, just uh, you'll see a brush pumper and the fire chief setting right there. So hopefully he'll get down there and knock that out pretty quick, man. And, and, uh, but that's about uh, all right now. They got everybody stationed really good to keep it off the homes. Like I said, it's just this tall grass. And this tall grass with the winds blowing up to 30 miles an hour, that is just a really hard thing to stop moving. And, uh, you know, what I'm looking at, Amanda, is we come around here and show a wide shot uh, where the housing addition is off to the right now the wind is blowing out of the southwest it's going to be the top of your screen to the right hand corner is blowing to the northeast which will be the bottom of the screen to the left hand corner there's a field off to the left there where this new housing addition is now if it gets around that housing addition some way and go to the left a little bit rich uh, that field right there i'm talking about if it gets into that uh it can move pretty fast across there and then it runs into uh, some homes and a really brushy area where a creek is and so they definitely don't want it to get around them right there. But uh, right now, it's just really the tall grass right in here that's burning, Amanda. We definitely don't want it crossing the road there, right where you could see some cedar trees. So luckily, no cedar trees right here in this area. And we see firefighters from several different departments. They're stationed to try to make sure it doesn't get into this housing addition. But how scary for the people living here uh, to see the smoke and to see it get that close. Homeowners out there doing what they can, spraying down their fence. I want to bring in our chief meteorologist, David Payne. David, you warned us about today 